Israel's Defense Ministry Director General Eyal Zamir declared that Iran is the primary focus of Israel's strategic military planning for the years to come. He called it the new multi-year plan. Eye-opening was that Zamir said the new plan will feature a heavy investment in artificial intelligence, which he argued has the potential to drastically improve Israel's intelligence and targeting capabilities against Iran. Leaves us with a lot of questions, which is why we're joined now by Nuri Feinmesser, the general partner at Disruptive AI, a VC, and a retired colonel, notably the head of the Artificial Intelligence Unit in the IDF. So thanks for being with us today. Well, first of all, jumping into it, artificial intelligence, you know, what does that mean in, in the context of, of countering Iran? Well, uh, we all know, we all heard about uh, artificial intelligence that comes into our life uh, more and more uh, areas. And of course, it's not living outside the area of uh, security and defense. And it's part of the progress. It's going to be one of the, or it is already one of the leading technologies uh, when you really have to deal with a lot of data. And I think, well, it's related to Iran because Iran, it's a, it's a huge uh, uh, amount of data that we have to uh, process and a lot of projects being there, uh, being a threat. And I think the intelligent forces is, uh, you know, the, the forces that actually have to dig out the data and understand from the data what is going on and what are the plans for the future and try to uh, predict and detect anomalies. AI is the proper tool for them. And now with the, with the huge revolution of AI uh, and the technology that allows us to to be available um, at a general availability, we can actually take it uh, and use it for uh, uh, building a, a kind of a plan to to meet those threats and uh, the giant challenge that it brings with us. I know it's an, it's an esoteric realm here, and there's only so much you can really tell us about here. I mean, look, a lot of concerns right now, though, about this emerging, the emerging capabilities, obviously, of artificial intelligence to be used against us. I mean, against anyone, really, but you know, the, the fake videos, for example, or images that, that can come out. We've seen some attempts in an African nation showing army being rough and, uh, on, on people in villages, or in other words, fake images created in the U.S. recently of transgender protesters attacking school children. Again, all fake, put out there. What's the threat that these types of things can be used to manipulate us right now? So I think there could be two kinds of threats that we might uh, look into. One of them is the threat, like you mentioned, uh, try to to make humans to think or uh, believe in things that are not exist, that are not the, the reality, and by that, actually creating a reality. Uh, you can create uh, all kinds of realities and, uh, and of course, threats uh, in a way that uh, couldn't be done before and make people believe it, whether it's the crowd or whether it's the decision makers. So this is one threat. The other threat is actually using the tools to manipulate other tools. Imagine just for example, that you could, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, create fake uh, radar uh, uh, blips and then uh, your enemy might think that there are real planes on the air there. So you actually create kind of a data war between two systems. This is a major threat and uh, the only way to tackle both, both threats is actually to create those technologies uh, that I believe that uh, will be part of this major uh, plan that uh, that is uh, that the army is going to invest in uh, to separate between the truth and yeah. the faith. Uh, this is a major uh, take to do. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the defense directorate yesterday touted Israel as a quote unquote cyber power. Okay, what are our strengths here in Israel? Where, where does Israel shine in this realm? So. Um, in a different way, like cyber, it's not a super academic uh, domain, but uh, AI and data science is truly a deep uh, academic research area. And Israel is one of the leading uh, countries uh, among the top three uh, <laughs> with its academics um, all over Europe and then I think all of the OECD uh, countries. And this is one end. On the other side, Israel is well known for its, uh, you know, uh, possibility or, and capabilities of improvising and actually hacking uh, technologies 
uh, to take them forward and make them uh, executable and, and, and done, to, to take general ideas and make them uh, work in, in our day life. This is, uh, this is part of our being a startup nation uh, country, right? Yeah. So uh, um, I think with those two strengths coming to the AI, actually I believe that Israel, and it's been done for a few years uh, already, is part of the leading communities, uh, you know, with the startups and both ways uh, with a different sector. Uh, one of the leading communities in AI creation uh, uh, in the world. I'm not, I would say that it would be probably one of the top five, uh, not already. And so viewers, don't avert your attention for a moment from AI. You'll miss the next development. Fascinating subject and great to have you as a resource here. Dora Faymesser, thanks for being with us.